So in this video, we're going to take a look at rendering our monster walk. We're going to do a really simple walk with our character here. Um, but if you can master even the simplest walks, like you're in pretty good shape. So again, this is your first walk, so you want to kind of just try your best to capture each pose, do a completion on it, and um, move on to the next one. So this video is going to go a little bit longer because I'm going to do the entire walk cycle in this video because in the next video I want to cover all the other animations before we go into engine. So you'll notice here, this image is actually on the site if you're following the tutorials off my website. And you'll see here it's 1 in 25 is this. 4, he's in a down position. Frames 7 and 19, he's up on his foot. And then here, this is, um, this is actually 9 and 16. And then here's 13. So let's try to put together what these numbers mean in Maya with the actual poses. So let's look at frame 1 and 25. So the first thing we're going to do with our character is we're going to show, we're going to turn off joints and we're going to turn off camera. We don't need to see that, okay? And I'm also going to turn off locators, which is located towards the bottom, I believe. Locators and handles. Okay, so on frame 1, Really, all I want you to do is have one foot back here and one foot over here. And I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to hit S to set a key. And I'm going to click, I'm going to change this to 25 frames. And you know, just to kind of speed up animation to be safe, I'm just going to go to default quality mode. So here's 25, and on frame 25, I'm just going to set a key. Okay. Now, the way we want this is, we want to just look at it where... The back that the, notice that this side, his right leg is forward, and then his left arm is forward. So we're trying to capture that initial pose. So I'm going to move this arm forward. Okay, let's move this elbow in. I'm just going to push it back so it goes in. That's good. I'm going to move this arm up. I'm going to move it back, and I'm going to move this arm up. Actually, I'm going to move this arm back and up this arm up and forward. I'm going to pull this elbow in, back, oops, just to get a little rotation on it, I think that's the problem. Alright, something like this. All right, and I might just kind of, I just want to check it. I'm getting a little bit of weird stretching here. Now, when you, if you do some more of the advanced videos I have where I actually teach you um, about good shoulder topology and stuff like that, it's actually good to kind of build this out, like a bad monster with bad topology at first, just so you can kind of see all of the errors um, before you kind of build your really good one. Okay, so... Um, so that stretching is sort of going to happen for now um, until, again, we cover better topology. So here's frame one. So that was actually done on 25. So I'm going to highlight all of this, and I'm going to click the middle wheel on my mouse on one. If I just simply left-click, it'll, it'll, it won't remember the animation. But if I left-click on 25, and then I click my middle wheel on one, I can actually set a key on that, and it'll actually capture that. So 13 is really just the inverse of this. So let's start with this arm. I'm just going to pull it all the way back. Same thing, I'm going to pull this elbow in. And let's push it back. And then I'm going to hit E to rotate. And it looks like it's kind of touchy. Let's just rotate it. Like that. And down a little bit. And uh, it looks like the shoulder also might be part of the problem. There we go. So again, I'm going to take this arm forward, and I'm going to pull this hand forward, like this, I'm going to push this foot back, and then this foot forward. And because we have auto key on here, it remembers our keying positions. Alright, so let's take a look at that. We get the skiing motion. Looks like he's skiing. 13 might need to be exaggerated a little bit more. In all honesty, I think he might be too low. 
So what I'm going to do here on 1 is I'm going to pull his hips up a little bit, click on 25, set a key. Again, I'm middle whilst clicking. 13, I'm going to pull him up as well. I'm going to select both of his hands as well as I pull that up. Okay, I'm going to set a key. Well, we might not even have to because we have auto key on. Frame 4 is really him going up on his toe here. So let's go to frame 4, pull his foot up, grab this blue circle, just pull it down and then back. Okay. Then we're going to go to 16. Now, 4 is this left leg, 16 is his alternate leg. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Pull this down and back. So we get this motion. We also want his hips to go a little bit lower on 4. Same thing on 16. So we get a decrease. 7 is his four, his front leg becomes the supporting leg. So on 7, I'm going to select both of his hands and the center hip. I'm going to pull him up. This is what frame 7 looks like here. And then I'm going to grab this foot, pull it back a little bit, and up. So we get this motion. And then he plants his foot. Okay, so 7 is the equivalent of 19. So same thing. 7, this is the supporting foot. 19, our alternate leg is the supporting foot. So same thing, I'm going to select this uh, box in the middle and these two circles. And I'm just going to pull them right up. I'm going to grab this foot and just pull it right up and then back. So we're getting this motion here. Alright, now let's do a little bit of cleanup. On that front foot, I just want to give him a little bit of a heel here. Plant his foot. And I'm going to middle mouse click on 25 and set a key on that. So that we get a little bit more of a step. Same thing on 13. I'm just going to rotate his foot. Pull it down. So we get a little bit of that. So there's our, our walk. Now you would probably want to give him more of a lumbering monster walk. But for now that'll suffice. So go to File, Save Scene As. Now we're going to select our same monster file here, but don't write over it. We're going to put an at symbol and then walk. And then I'm going to put Save As. And hit Continue. Alright, so now we have our monster at walk. So when I press play, we've got our cool walk cycle. We're going to bring this into Unity. Let's take a look. Um, you know, we're at 8 minutes. I'm going to take the last 2 minutes to create a really quick idle. So I'm just going to go to File, Open Scene, and I'm going to open my monster. I'm going to save this one more time. Now, an idle can be really whatever you want. So my guy is going to just uh, beat his chest. So I'm going to change this to 150 frames. So it's 150 frames long. I'm going to do Show, Joints, highlight all those joints. Show camera, I don't, that camera's really annoying me. Now I'm just going to set a key on one. And really, this could be any timing you want. I just want my character to sort of um, maybe idle up and down like this. Maybe I'll select all of his hands as well, because they kind of lock in place. They're kind of set to IK at this point. So he's just kind of doing this like, let's really pull this up. Same thing with this elbow. There we go. It's kind of annoying me. There we go. So you can take this time also to kind of just set your initial position of your character. You know, his initial stance or whatever. Alright, here's my character. Let's see how that looks when I go to high quality mode. It doesn't look bad. And actually, let's take a second to do file save scene as. And I'm going to change this to idle. I'm going to save it. Alright, so let's take a look at um, the problem with this guy. Actually, that was our problem from the beginning. And that's okay. Let's pull this in as well. Okay. 
So I'm going to select his hands. And every 10 frames, so you can actually just type in 10 here. Oh, sorry, 10 in the first one. I guess you can't. The uh, There's a way of just shooting over to, oh, I think it's, it's right here. We can type 10 there. So I'm just going to set a key. Or actually, I'm going to hit E and just rotate them down on 10. Go over to 20. Kind of go, have him go up. Down. So he's every 10 frames, he's sort of doing this like head nod thing. And it might even be too quick because he's doing three head nods a second. And then on 40, he kind of does this look up. Or we can have him do like a look to the right. You know what? Let's just do. He's almost got that Batman suit thing going on where you can't move your neck. So here's 40. Let's have him do a slow turn on 50, the other direction. And then on 70, brings both hands up and forward. And Seventy five he does a quick quickly let's just place his hand on his chest. Let's bring this forward a little bit. Or we can just I guess we can just rotate this shoulder. Yeah, maybe he does like that wrestling move where he points to himself. And with the other arm does this taunt. And then let's just middle mouse on one back to 110. Let's see how that looks. And I don't know. So on 120, he kind of squats down a little bit. And uh, maybe he shakes his butt. Getting bored. Again, you could do whatever you want at this point. And then on, let's just go to 1. And then on 150, I'm just going to... I'm going to click on 1. Middle mouse click on 150. Hit S to set a key. So here's our idle. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit Control S and save that. I'm going to stop the video here, and the next one we're going to do the run and the jump.